obviously we travel every second week, so the importance of getting that right is really crucial. Definitely a fair bit of work to get the operation going for a travel party. The travel situation is just part of the job. You know, if you want to go and burst the best team, sometimes you've got to go interstate. Managing the travel so everyone's able to perform at their best is mostly picking up everything that we have here and taking with us for their recovery, giving them the food and hydration that they required, supplying hotels that are comfortable, and then we supply the equipment, whatever they need that they'd have here would be available for the game to get themselves ready. Because we travel every fortnight, we're aware of what's ahead of us and you know we know we're really well looked after and it's just part of the process of being an interstate club. The impact of a game of football on the players is quite diverse. They run anywhere from 12 to 15 kilometres within a game. You've obviously got contact, change of direction. Fatigue is great and the chance of injury is high. For the duration of the game, AFL's the longest. Comparison is obviously soccer and league and so forth, but the running involved and the 360 aspect of the game is very unique to AFL. It has an impact on the body that takes time to recover. So straight after the game, as a team, we'll do a warm down. Some can eat really quickly after a game. For me, personally, it takes a fair while to be able to stomach any food. I'm still buzzing quite a bit after a night game, and it takes a fair bit to wind down. You know, I generally sit up and watch a bit of sport through the night. It's a good time to just tap into a bit of extra recovery. It's actually a pretty blissful time, to be honest, providing we've had a win, so my spirits are up a bit more. <laughs> There's a few options I look to tap into the day after a game. Generally, I'm pretty sore and tired, but if it's a home game, I'm normally home with the kids and they get me up bright and early. And Kids don't understand if you're sore or you've played a game or not. It's dead there. No. No? It's nice to get out with the kids and, and keep moving and, you know, that kicks off the recovery process. I'm really lucky to have a couple of kids with my partner, Taylor. Keeping active and, and keeping my mind away from footy has been really beneficial for me and keeps the body feeling great and the mind feeling fresh. My journey's probably been a little bit different to, you know, what you would call traditional. I was drafted to Geelong Footy Club in 2011. He's got it! Pretty much for seven years. I just wasn't able to get on the park. I had a lot of injury troubles, so it was just a bit of a grind. I had a fair few periods there where I certainly thought maybe footy is not for me. I was pretty much seeking a fresh start and I've been really fortunate to be given that opportunity up here at Brisbane. Brilliant from Lincoln McCarthy. McCarthy started the route. <laughs> And he might have just finished it. McCarthy with wings! Since my time in the game, there's been a transformation, I guess, in the way recovery is prescribed. It's sort of individualised and used to be a bit of a blanket rule across, you know, the whole group. My approach as a high performance manager is all about education and making sure the players understand the reasons why they do things. It helps them buy in and helps also in finding that niche that they can follow each week. Obviously we get a lot of decisions made for us throughout the week and throughout the season and we've got to adhere to those forms of structure. I guess given some responsibility on how we recover from games is, is quite empowering. It's another way to keep us fresh and ready to go for the next week. Mental recovery is a really important factor for me to be able to move on to the next week. Before each game, I'll write a bit of an action plan in, in my journal. I've got the mental preparation one, which is probably more about me personally being engaged with the game and, and my teammates. Um, and then the other one is actions that will make me a good teammate. So blocking for the tools, so blocking for all our big guys and our small guys. The other one is just making sure that I get to the leg of the ball user. Whenever our ball user comes out of a stoppage or a play, that I can give him a bailout kick. The other one's just making sure that as a small forward, I'm putting pressure on to try and keep the ball in our forward line as, as much as possible. That gives our mids and defenders time to set up behind the ball and hopefully we can generate more scores. Look at McCarthy! You can't believe what just happened. See you, Bowie. See you, mate. Yeah, Travelling often doesn't need to be seen as a, a real constraint on what we do. We're a really tight group here at the Lions. Makes it really enjoyable to go away together. It does put you at a disadvantage at some stages, but the more seamless we can make it as a staff, then basically the players are able to perform and there's no excuses. I think that it gives us the opportunity to perfect you know, our travel program and build connections. You leave Brisbane on a bit of a mission, I guess. You hope that you can get the four points or get the win and return on a happy trip home. But he's more than capable! <laughs>